When I 3D scan a part and try to reverse engineer it in Geomagic for SolidWorks, the first thing I do upon import is fix the part's orientation to the coordinate system. Many 3D scan parts are positioned at a random and uh, unmeaningful position to the coordinate system, and I want to put them where I want them before I start to reverse engineer. The best way to do this in Geomagic for SolidWorks is to build some reference geometry. I'm going to pick some obvious features that I probably would want to be the center of the coordinate system. I'll create an axis where these two holes are. I'll also create a symmetry plane down the middle of the part. And finally, a reference plane on the flat on the bottom of the piece. These will constitute the directions for my new coordinate system that I'm going to create, but I need to show the program where the center is going to be, where the origin will be. I want to create a point at the intersection of the symmetry plane and the axis, and I don't need a special tool in the Geomagic toolbar to do that. I'm in SolidWorks, and SolidWorks already has in the Features toolbar a point tool that will create a point at the intersection of these two pieces of reference geometry. Now I go back to the Geomagic toolbar and use the Orient tool. Now the Orient tool can be used with references from the mesh, but I think it makes more sense to use this reference geometry that I've created because it's the only way to control where the origin will be. Now I'll say that the y-axis, the up direction, is going to go with that plane that I created on the bottom of the part. And I'll say that the x-axis is controlled by the axis through the hole. Now I have one more thing to decide, and that is which of these two is going to be the primary reference and which is going to be the secondary reference. And what does that mean? Well, these two pieces of geometry are not at a perfect 90 degree angle to each other. They're from a 3D scan metal part that probably had some bend and warp and defects to it. But they're defining the X and Y axis, which by definition are 90 degrees to each other. By clicking on one or the other and highlighting these fields in blue, I make a decision about which one's gonna be the primary and which one's gonna be the secondary. If you zoom way in on this coordinate system that we're creating, you can actually perceive a slight shift in the location of the coordinate system we're creating, depending on which one is highlighted. I'm going to stick with the axis as my major uh, definition. In a different situation, I might make a different decision. Mostly, I try to pick whichever I trust the most. I'll say OK. And all of that reference geometry that we created before is left behind. You could delete it, but I like to just hide it in case I need to re-import the part later. And from this point on, when I need to reference the nominal directions, I'll use the front, top, and right planes of this SolidWorks part when I go to reverse engineer. I hope this was helpful. If you need more tips and tricks on 3D scanning and post-processing, check us out again with TriMix Solutions.